Okay, this recap is just going to be some funny stuff and wholesome episodes. I'm going to have a lot of them kind of strung together. I'm going to start with Season 1, Episode 18. When I watched One Piece for the first time, I don't know why, but this episode stuck in my memory. There's a lot of things I forgot. But this is the episode where they meet the treasure chest man. It's just a dude stuck in a treasure chest. And I thought it was so absurd. But the whole episode is so incredibly wholesome. There's just a dude who has been stuck in a treasure chest. And he's been scaring pirates off the island in order to protect his treasure. And it turns out, it's a little bit of a spoiler, the treasure chests are empty. And at the very end, Luffy refuses to throw the treasure chest down. Because he didn't want to ruin the dude's hope and dreams of guarding that treasure and, and being able to obtain it one day. And so he didn't lie, he just didn't throw it down and people are like, Luffy, what are you doing? Don't be a jerk. And it turns out that the guy already knew that treasure chests were most likely empty because treasure maps, you know, it was whoever gets there first gets it. Anyways, I thought that was really wholesome. I remember the treasure chest man and this episode is like, the embodiment of the meme where maybe the friends we made along the way were the real treasure and indeed it was for him he made friends with the weird animals on the island and that became his new hope and dream anyways nothing really stuck out to me here there's a lot you can take out of the episode if you want but i just remember how wholesome it was and rewatching it yeah i remembered most of it and the crazy thing is just one episode that I remembered specifically. And as we're moving on, we're on season one, episode 22. This is where they meet Sanji. And there's a lot of humor in this entire arc. There's a lot of humor in the whole series. It's very goofy and a little bit silly. But yeah, I found a lot of funny clips in here from episode 22 to 25. There's like a really goofy scene where Sanji kicks Luffy in the head and his head goes boing boing. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I also thought it was really silly that the cook pirates, their weapons were giant utensils. So they have giant forks, giant spoons, giant knives, giant ladles. And I also found it super funny in episode 25 where their weapon is a giant paddle boat. So just imagine Patty and the other dude, they're like paddling this fish that comes out of the boat. And it's a smaller boat inside a bigger boat. And then it has cannons in the front. But they have to paddle it. <laughs> so <laughs> they're just paddling their way. It's just a really silly approach to a target. And they shoot. And the guy just lifts the boat up and throws it. Even the character of the, the Pearl dude. He just looks goofy. He just has like shields in front of him. He looks like a Pearl. But yeah, I remember there's a lot of goofy enemies uh, and just character designs and just goofy things happening. And that's why I like One Piece so much. It's very wholesome. It doesn't take itself seriously a lot of the times and sometimes it does. And it just creates a lot of fond memories. And I'm enjoying my time watching One Piece again. Uh, I don't know if One Piece is for you, but let me tell you guys, if you are not having fun in life playing games... Or watching shows that are just not interesting find something that you like you know life is too short grinding away playing a, a toxic game i'm just talking about myself i recently quit apex and i am playing overwatch 2 with some homies and i'm like yeah i'm just not having fun and you know what i am having fun with though one piece that's right i hope you guys find your one piece whatever it is because life can be hard and life can be short, so hope you guys enjoy it and have fun. It's gonna be it.